Hey guys, I love looking back and seeing what listings on Etsy were my top sellers for the year. They changed kind of, you know, not too much year to year. Now, certainly one year it was all about masks and things like that. And luckily that is not in my top 10 this year. Um, thankfully we have moved, you know, past that and hopefully that stuff will just stay in the past. Um, but my top 10 Etsy listings for 2023. No, 2022. It is 2023. But this does help me guide what I'm going to focus on in 2023, um, where I want to put my energy in 2023, because I, it will kind of let me know what is selling well and maybe what I don't need to spend so much time on. So let's start at 10 and go down to the top listing. My top 10, the top 10 the 10th highest listing that I have on Etsy is da, 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 this cute Valentine truck. I love it. I would not have known if I was to pick out all of my applique designs that this was going to be one of the top listings, but it was. It was top 10 last year. Um, and, it, and I do remember making it a lot. And I've already actually made, I think, four or five, six times this year. I've got two orders that came in today for this shirt. So it, it is. it does rank up there. And so I do love it. Um... It is only one of two applique designs that are in my top 10. That is always something that I realize analytics year in, year out, that my applique designs, probably because there are so many different ones of them, um, do not rank as high. But this is one of the top um, 10. So super cute. Grab your Valentine's. Make sure all your Valentine's listings are up, you guys. All right, number nine. This is always on my list. Monogram long sleeve ruffle dresses. This is always a top seller of mine. I get these throughout the year. Um, of course, I do have a short sleeve dress and that is also in my top 10. Um, so, but those are two separate listings, long sleeve, short sleeve. So depending on what time of year it is, depends on which one's a little more popular. But this is always a go-to, super easy to embroider. Um, there are lots of different color options. These aren't things that I keep in stock. So I do have to order them individually as people place those orders. So that does make it a longer um, process processing time and I have to be very careful that I am not um, selling something that's out of stock so uh, you really have to keep up with inventory outside of your realm when you sell items like this all right dun, 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 number eight my eighth top listing on Etsy in 2022 is big brother little brother sets these are so cute you don't have to buy the set you can buy one or the other um but this is so sweet this isn't even individualized these are just faux smocked embroidery which is super fun super cute i love the classic look of it and i do make a lot of these and love every one of them because i know i am part of like a cute photo op or a moment that they're sharing um bringing a new sibling into the world super cute all right, dun, 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 dun. number seven. Um, this is always on my top 10 monogram long sleeve ruffle shirts. These literally sell every day in my shop. Um, super simple, super easy, a monogram or a name. Again, there are so many colors. I can't even keep up with how many colors there are available right now. And I just have to make sure again that I am keeping up with the inventory outside of my shop um, to know and make sure that they are available when someone orders them from me. So love these, super easy, super, super fun. Um, okay, number six, top Etsy listing of 2022 in Embroidery Nurses Etsy shop is my frozen shirt. I make this shirt all the time. I started having to buy this glitter vinyl on the roll. I couldn't buy the sheets anymore because I, I, I couldn't keep up. So I keep a roll of it at all times, actually a couple of rolls of it. Uh, I can lean over right here right now and show you my roll. Um, I make this shirt all the time. Um, I think it's a great option when um, I don't do Disney. I don't put anything that's copyrighted on my channel or sell. Um, and so this shirt is a good um, option to show somebody if they're looking for something frozen from Disney uh, because it's just a snowflake. And um, it's just great because you can either do it with a um, number for a birthday or you can do it with um, an initial for a name. It's got the entire alphabet, including all numbers. So I love this shirt. Um, it's just two colors, one cut of fabric or one cut of glitter vinyl and done. So super fun. I knew this would rank up there. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I just got done with a million of these. Number five is stockings. 
This is always a top seller of mine. It's something that I know I have to invest in each year um, because it's something that people come to my shop to look for. I buy them in bulk, 30, 30, 300 or more every year. In, uh, in the summertime, I purchase these particular stockings. I love them. They, they are exactly the type of stockings that I want, that I use. They're fun, they're colorful, they're matching. And I sell the same ones year in, year out. So people can come back to me if they want, you know, to, if they added another child in their life or want to add Aunt Susie who's coming in town this year. Um, so that I think it's important that I do keep the same one year in, year out for that reason. Um, I love them. I actually sold a ton of different stockings in my Blanks group on Facebook, but I decided that um, really moving forward, I'm really only going to carry this style because it's what I use in my shop and I'm trying to kind of keep that mindset moving forward buying blanks that I need to stick true to my word and the only things that I will purchase will be things that I use personally and therefore these stockings will be around for a while. All right, dun, 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 dun. we already talked about this one, monogrammed ruffle short sleeve dress. Just like the long sleeve one comes in multiple colors, super easy to embroider, comes in sizes six months through like 12 year, maybe 10, I'm not sure. Um, but it is, is simple, easy, just a staple in my shop. All right, dun, 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 dun. this one has really picked up over time, Searsucker gift sets. So number three is Searsucker, Searsucker gift sets. So I do offer um, the different items when it comes to um, book bags, lunchbox, cosmetic case, duffel bags, in four different colors in Searsucker, the navy, the pink, the red, the purple. And this is just a great gift set that people will buy. Uh, most all of them are gift sets, whether it's Christmas time, any time of the year. And the reason I know that is because people will select the item um, with a gift message and I'll often be sending these gift sets as a gift message. These are my mom, own personal mom's go-to items for anyone that's having a baby. She will give this because it really is an item that they will use. The bookcase, the lunchbox, the duffel bag, super cute um, for any child and it really does make a fun gift. All right, dun, 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 dun. I didn't realize this was going to be so high on the list. I do remember doing a lot of these last year. They are very seasonal. I, after the summertime, I actually, you know, closed down the listing. But Puddle Jumper, co Puddle Jumper Covers, that's hard to say, um, is my number two listing for 2022. So this lets me know, Kelly, go ahead and get these ready. Go ahead and get these in stock. Make sure you have your inventory because this was a big seller for you. Don't, you know, keep that momentum going, right? Um, so I didn't realize I sold that many, but obviously I did. And it, it could and should probably be something that I keep up year round because there are places that swim year round. Um, just not here, right? Even though I live at the beach. So those are fun, super simple. You do have to invest in them, obviously. Um, or yeah, I was gonna say you can make your own, but don't, don't, I don't know. I think that'd be hard. Um, you can probably do it. I can't. Okay, and then the number one, I think this was the number one last year. I'll have to look back because it'd be really good to compare. But my number one item, you guys, in Embroidery Nurses Etsy shop for 2022 was bum, ba, da, bum, 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 Easter baskets. Love it. I have tried to figure out why. Why is this the number one? The picture on the on the beginning of the listing is not even my own picture. It's from the people that I buy it from. What? I mean, seriously. But I am not touching that listing because it does so well. Um, I might do like another listing and compare um, with a picture of all the ones I've done because I have done a million of these. I sell them in all four colors um, that I purchased. The red, nope. Pink, navy, green, and purple. I love these. They are so simple to do. The problem or the, um, the, what you need to, what I need to make sure is that I have the inventory. Um, I generally would do really quick shipping on these because they're so easy to make. And, um, and, and, and I just love them year in, year out. So I've enjoyed sharing these, you guys. I hope it kind of gives you some insight, but more than anything, um, just an idea that you need to go into your Etsy check out your analytics. Etsy gives so many behind the scenes analytics to your shop. Make sure you're using them. Make sure you're looking into it because this is something that I've known for the past few years as I've been looking into the analytics deeper is even though I focus on all these really cute applique designs that are seasonal, they're not on my top 10 list, you guys, except for the Valentine's one that 
it just it just is um, but year in and year out my top sellers are generally things that are simple quick monogrammed items um, so I just got to remember that when I'm trying to think of new items for my shop or ways that I can grow it definitely is eye-opening to me um, so I'm looking forward to 2023 I've already asked in my own personal um, selling Facebook page what are you guys looking for? I have vowed to them that I, I have over a year's worth of listings. And so every day, um, I'm going to try to list and showcase a new listing on Etsy that they might not even know is there. Um, so that's going to be fun. So like right now, um, today I sat down and I did a week's worth of posts. I scheduled them out. So every day a new one will appear of a new item um, that I have in my Etsy shop. And right now I've really focused on um, Valentine's items that I have. Um, that way, you know, people can see those and, and, and I'll do them seasonally uh, during that year time or that week's time. And then I also put those particular items that I listed. Um, I gave a 15% off code. So that will, you know, hopefully get people to um, go ahead and purchase them straight from Etsy. Um, so there you go. I hope that gives you some ideas. Can't wait for 2023 and to see what the top sellers are this year we never know sometimes some of these are tried and true and will certainly be on the list next year um, and so i will continue to focus on those and just try to bring fun new products to my customers happy stitching guys